I think, of, like, you know, at the beginning of the year, we were still seeing some issues with Wayland, um, like the fraction scaling stuff. Um, I remember I, I tried it on Asahi Linux, and the first thing I did is open up Firefox, and it was blurry, and I was like, wait. <laughs> Um, so that was like Xwayland on KDE, mm. and there was it was trying to oh, do yeah, that. Oh like, yeah, 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 like yeah. So KDE fixed that with one stuff, and then with like asking X to do native fractional rendering, and now mm -hmm. we have the native Wayland rendering, which I think KDE and Qt have always supported anyway, but like in their own way, um, because Qt yeah, always had fractional rendering. Believe so, yes. Um, yeah. Um, but probably not standardized in a way that would work with other compositors or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, there was no, like, um, general yeah. standardized protocol yet for yeah. it, so KD was sort of, yeah. like, doing their own thing. And then there's yeah. Gnome, where I, I it's like... I know was getting worked, but, like, it was not... Yeah, there was something around there, yeah. Yeah, then there's um, Gnome, where it's like, we we could implement fractional scaling, but then there's GTK, which doesn't support it in the first place, so... Um, I, I know that a couple of people very involved in GTK project have said... It's probably not going to support fractional scaling until GTK five, so it's going to be Hi. a while. <laughs> and then you've got to yeah, wait a couple I... of years after that for the desktop to actually be in GTK five. Yeah. <laughs> you know the funny thing is that Apple just cheats and doesn't do any of this. Yeah, how does as Apple handle? Yeah, um, they only do one X and two X, and <laughs> then they do full screen. Mm. Uh, like at the display controller level, they just do virtual resolutions that are not the real physical resolution, mm. and then just scale, and that's it. So you render your desktop at a different resolution than your physical resolution to handle, you know, fractional scaling. Hmm. And, you know, you use more GPU power, on, and it looks a little bit softer, but macOS had always had this sort of, you know, we don't do font hinting, we uh, we do smooth vector graphics, so we don't care about pixel perfect. Um, you know, like their entire UI is designed not to expect Pixel perfect graphics. Yeah. So yep. it's always been kind of smooth and tedious stuff that it doesn't really matter um, if you scale it. And yeah, I guess they just have a good scaling algorithm. They just be controller and they just uh, go with that. Well, Apple also is the uh, sort of the same advantage that Android has, where a lot of stuff is just built in the one toolkit. So uh, obviously there is the Electron stuff. Um, but Android actually does fractional though. Android does actually do like full, um, like configurable. Yeah, but, size, DPI, all that. but what I mean is you don't have like, you know, 10 different toolkits doing all of their own different things. Um, well, you obviously you, you can have that on Mac OS, but most of the, this problem falls apart when you give people choice. But a lot yes. of stuff is built with the the main toolkit that is expected. When you go with that, there is a lot more. You have a lot more control over what is done. Yep, yep. And that's uh, why that's, if you like stay, that's how it goes, right? Mm -mm. Like if you stay just in KDE, everything that's gonna be using the KDE scaling is going to, you know, work nicely. Yep. The second you step outside For of the that, most part. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, I found a really, you know, I found a really funny race condition. Um, hmm. I, I don't know whose fault this is or how if it's supposed to work in some other way, but mm -hmm. when I start KDE, sometimes at one point five scaling, mm -hmm. sometimes the taskbar is blurry, <laughs> and. Apparently what happens is that like it applies the fractional scaling while it's starting up. Mm -hmm. And so if Plasma starts before that setting gets changed, it starts at the wrong scaling. And because it doesn't support changing scaling for existing apps on the fly, uh -huh. the, what Achilles seems to do on Wayland is that they just um, scale the output so you get you know blurry uh, surfaces until we start the app, which is better than nothing. So like I, I agree with that. I think that's <laughs> a good idea. Uh, but then... You better set the, the fractional scaling globally before starting Plasma. So, like, something is, is backwards in the, like, startup sequence there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, th those kinds of things obviously need to be uh, fixed. Well, no software's uh, going to be like... perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but, uh, you know. No, it, it's, it could be worse. There could just be no fractional scaling in the toolkit. Like, yeah. GTK. From my, I, I've heard multiple people tell me that it's not, it wouldn't be that bad to refactor it. Then I've heard other people saying that it would be an absolute nightmare. I have no idea who's actually telling the truth. All I know is it's probably not going to happen. So, I don't Actual know. Scanning is pretty hard for things that assume integer pixels. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, because, like, there's, especially, I don't know, if, even websites have this issue. Like, um, I, I use 1.5x and sometimes I scroll Twitter and the DM window start scrolling on its own <laughs> and i am convinced that that's a fractional scaling issue mm -hmm. where they like set the position of the window and the scroll and then read it back and set it again and do the rounding issues it just crawls it's so annoying 
So you get things like that, right? Like mm -hmm. where like you're rounding down to pixels and back and converting, and that just makes everything such a pain. Yeah. Well, one of the main folks that people talk about with fractional scaling is like blurriness, but I'm, I'm yeah, it doesn't surprise me that there are other things that are a mess. Like blurriness is sort of the least of your issues because a lot of a lot of the elements that you do have aren't that big of a deal. Like text scales properly, any UI elements you have that are drawn in code, so, you know, like your buttons that you're probably, you know, drawing code, that will scale fine. It's sort of only the, the rasterized images that are a problem, but I'm not surprised that other issues tend to crop up when you don't fully test your fraction of scaling implementation. Yeah, I think the, the sort of um, code issues like that are kind of the worst part because... The UI elements, I mean, if you have 2x elements and you scale them down to 1.5, it's fine. I mean, that looks fine. Um, it's only people who are like, I must have exactly square pixels and like, you know, all my designs must be super sharp and mapped one to one to my display. And yeah. you know what? That stops mattering with high DPI displays because mm -hmm. we can't see the pixels anymore. So that only really matters for low DPI. And we're kind of moving away from that. Yeah, from... Um, but... Uh, sorry, yeah. go on. No, oh, yeah, but... Um, but yeah, it's it's more about like retrofitting fractional scaling into a system that doesn't already, um, you know, natively base itself on floating point coordinates and things like that mm -hmm. can get really messy. 